Greetings to you in Jesus' precious name. Once again, it's so good to be with you on the program. I want to speak to you about being homeward bound. Folks, if you look in the Word of God, in um, the book of uh, Joshua, Joshua chapter 13 and verse 33, you will see that the Lord is very clear about the tribe of Levi. Now, the Levites were the, were, the, were the preachers. But I'd like to say that the Levites are also the people that love God. What the Lord did was He gave every tribe of Israel their own particular part of Israel, their country, when they came out of Egypt. The tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Gab, and all the, Gad, and all the rest of them. But Levi, the Bible says, they got no land because the Lord was their inheritance. Isn't that beautiful? I, I, just, I just think that's fantastic. If God is your inheritance, it's God that you should be investing into and the things of God. Okay? If your inheritance is this earth, then obviously you must be putting effort into this earth. Now, I'm not saying because you are a believer that you need to sit down on the side of the road in sackcloth and ashes and wait for the second coming of God. No, 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 no. We've got to work hard. We've got to make money. We've got to feed our families. We've got to put a roof over our heads, okay? But what happens is some people forget. They think that they are here forever. It's not the case. We're here for 70 years, and if we've got the strength, the Bible says, another 10 years, 80 years. That's about it. Yes, some people live a bit longer, and that's wonderful. But I want to tell you, we are not here forever. We are passing through. We are sojourners, the Bible says, travelers in a foreign land. I went to see an old lady just yesterday. She's well into her 90s. And she was lying there sleeping peacefully. But when I looked at her, I could hardly recognize her. Her body is literally shrinking by the day. She's not sick. She's just old. And her physical body is just melting away. I want to say to you, if you are putting your strength, your hope, in your physical body, you're going to be disappointed. This body is perishing from the day that we get born. It really is. We need to put our trust, our investment in God. He is our source. And by the way, He is preparing a beautiful home for you and for me in heaven. Now we need to be sending Him home material to build a mansion. What material am I talking about? I'm talking about prayer. I'm talking about lifestyle. I'm talking about telling other people about Jesus Christ. We, we, are, we, we, are, we are commissioned to do that. I'm talking about preparing our lives so that when we meet the Lord, we will be found acceptable. Not through good works. Relax, sir. I'm not talking about that. If anybody knows we're saved by grace, it's me. But that doesn't give you a ticket just to do your own thing. Okay? We need to prepare for home time. We need to ensure, mother, that our children, when they die, are going to heaven. That's right. Spending more time doing that than trying to save up to paint the house. We need to tell our loved ones that this home is not our permanent abode. Our permanent home is in heaven. And one of these fine days, and I was just talking to the cameraman just before the program. And they were saying, they can't wait for that day. And I, I'll be honest with you, I can't wait either. When I hear the trumpet blow and the second coming of the Lord comes and He's going to take His loved ones home to be with Him in heaven. The Lord's warned us already. Jesus told us He's preparing a mansion for us in heaven. Have a look at it in John chapter 14. So let's start sending home uh, supplies building materials so that the Lord can build us that home. And let's not be so concerned about the things here on earth because they make you depressed. Remember, our home is in heaven. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.